yes let's make sure you click oh oh yes and then you oh, yes okay let's resume hi guys d sims here and welcome back to the channel and today i bring to you racks and riches hey hey it's a struggle so these parents gotta hustle hey and we are back with another episode and girl we've done it we've done it hold on let me let me come out here so i can show y'all in case y'all haven't seen let me get all this situated and stuff oh okay um but look we built them a house we built a house and um i put it on the channel it came out like i think two days ago um but i built them this little like by the sea shack house and somebody had commented it commented that it was too big but i promise you it's not um but here's the new house that we um put that money to good use girl my new toxic trait is building an entire house with under 5k <laughs> But I absolutely love, love, love their new house. I think it's perfect for them. It's the right size. It's not too big. Um, but let me go ahead and show you um, some things that I know might be a little controversial. Um, but I did build this room up here. Now this room has nothing in it. It's not, we can't even access it yet. But I based the build of this house off of a picture from inspiration that somebody tagged me in. And I also saw it again on Pinterest. And the thing that drew me to the house were the upstairs bits. So we have like this little uh, window cutout section here that's gonna be a patio eventually. And then we actually have like a room up there, but you can't really um, get to those right now. So this is the house that they have. Um, I know it's only episode three, but I don't think this is bad for um, them getting a house. But one thing I think I've decided to stop doing is digging in the trash, I think. The furniture and stuff is great starting out, but it is a little OP because you can find so many things in there and sell them for a lot of money. So we're not gonna be doing any dumpster diving for furniture or anything anymore. If we do do dumpster diving, I guess it will be for meals um, because um, we're actually going off the grid uh, today. Well, we're going off of off the grid. <laughs> we're going back on the grid, there we go. Um, we said that once they had a kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom situation, we will go ahead and go off the grid. But I am gonna continue to have solar and water stuff to cut down on our bills. So that's gonna be really, really good. Um, also, I don't know if we should stay on simple living or not. If you don't know, simple living is when you must have all of the ingredients to cook the food um, and all the cooking is free because you have the food. So let me know down below if we should um, turn off simple living because it is a hassle. I've played with it many times and it can be very inconvenient, especially buying groceries because <laughs> groceries are so expensive in The Sims. Like, girl, it's crazy. And you gotta pay a delivery fee. Girl, come on now. Anyway, um, so we will be going back on the grid today. Um, in the beginning of the episode, I definitely want to focus on Kamaya doing some soaps things because her produce and stuff is ready. We can start creating some soaps. And then later on, we'll go ahead with Joshua to Solani and she could sell her soaps by the seaside, by the seashore or the ocean shore, you know, whatever. But she could sell her soaps. Um, and all of the money that we're planning on getting today is for this little area over here. So um, this is the, going to be their closet that they're converting into a nursery. I know that sounds bad. But it's a nice size closet. I think it's gonna be completely okay for baby. Um, we don't know the gender of the baby and I'm actually not going to find out in this series. We do that a lot where we find out the gender of the baby. But honestly, I wanna be surprised. We're gonna be using the new um, updated version of Realistic Pregnancy that comes out hopefully in the next few days um, with the update where you can have a home birth and a water birth. So I'm really excited about that and we're just gonna just be super excited about everything. But I think their new house is a decent size. I love their porch. These are gonna be like these little boardwalk areas that's gonna stretch around their house. And I think it's really perfect for them. Um, we did build a version of this house on Twitch, but after sitting back and looking at it, I was like, girl, I could do better. And I built this house and I freaking love it. I love these plants. These are all debug plants and rocks and flowers. So those are completely free. Um, we did do some terraforming and some uh, you know, painting of the ground, as you can see. And something you may notice is this area right over here. So Joshua is planning on having a pond at his house where eventually we'll be able to uh, put our traps down and fill our pond with 
some of our crustaceans and hopefully be able to not have to leave the house all the time to um, actually catch some fish and make some money. So he's already started digging this out. The city has approved. So it's just gonna cost a lot of money to get it together. So girl, I did my research, but before we talk about that, let's talk about this little area. This is where the lighthouse is going to go. The new lighthouse is going to go on the opposite side of that one. And we're gonna build it up pretty tall. We actually practice that on Twitch as well. That was really successful. Uh, we're gonna make sure it's on like this little hill and then we're gonna have a little structure coming from it. And this is where we're going to have Kamaya's greenhouse. So it's gonna be a lighthouse with a little greenhouse conversion off the side of it. It's gonna be so, so cute. So yes, that is where we are. Let's get into the uh, episode. So right now we got five bucks, girl. We got $5. And Joshua is talking to her about baby room decorations because our money that we get today is all going to uh, a nursery for a baby. And I'm super, super duper excited about it. It's gonna be so cute. And of course we're going to Nubu Baby. Like we gotta go to Nubu. We might not be able to buy a whole bunch of stuff from Nubu because Nubu is kind of on the upscale side of a baby store. Um, and we don't really have upscale money, but maybe we can buy something uh, a little cute, you know, something small. Not it being the TV season premiere and we don't have a television set. That's crazy. Um, let's uh, do some needs real quick. Let's, uh, oh, let's go off the grid first off. Um, this about the pond in the back. So after talking to the city and um, getting the license and plans and everything, it's gonna cost $10,000 to get this filled with all the landscaping, with the pier and everything set up. So we're gonna have to raise $10,000 to get our pond, but it's going to make the money back. I know it is, tenfold. So yes, um, let's go off the grid. Um, also, Joshua has been catching so much um, and really, you know, having a good first impression with his new job and stuff like that, that he's been granted access to a processing table. And basically what that is, is now he'll be able to package his crustaceans up and sell them for a little bit more money. Just so you know, this is the next iteration of the mod that me and Ravashin is working on. Please know that this mod is definitely in the beginning stages. Everything that you see is for testing purposes. It will be very fleshed out with a whole bunch of details and animations and everything as we continue to make the mod. But right now I'm showing you the mod as it progress from the beginning to end. And now we have a table where you can actually um, package your crustaceans up. And I'm super excited to use it today, but we can't get it until we get some money. So now that we're off the grid or now that we're back on the grid, um, we're gonna have to pay for electricity and services and everything like that. But the good thing is, I do think we have some electricity and water stored up. As you can see, this household has been reconnected to the utility grid. Objects that use water and power will now work even without utility surpluses and bills for utilities will resume. So yes, we definitely um, have a bit of a surplus, which is good because we don't have the money to turn on our electricity right now. I also updated SMB bills. So um, we should be really, really good. So if we custom, we have power, water, and garbage collection. So yes, I think we're good because we have a surplus. If I manage utilities, yeah, power, we're, you know, we're losing power, but we do have some water because it's raining, which is good. And we have a little bit of power left. So we got to make some money ASAP. Um, but let's do this because we're not doing any more dumpster type situations anymore. Um, I want to add some items in here to where are these mushrooms and stuff from? Oh, this is from the garden. Oh, we got some stuff to harvest. Uh, let's put all of this stuff in there just to add to our recycling. Homegirl is making some food. What is she making? I think this is, yep, apple salad. They only have two, they only have $5 and apple salad is only $2. So sis is not playing. Uh, when she finishes, we're gonna come over here and just harvest everything. I don't think we need to weed or do anything, but we're gonna harvest everything. And I think we're gonna try to get her to level four of this milling skill today because we want to make some soaps and we wanna sell them today. 
we need to so bad. So I'm gonna let her fix up some food and stuff like that. I think I did change like some colors of some stuff since the video, but everything is still the same. Oh, Joshua, you got a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe I could add some stuff in here. He has all of these things that can go in there and this trash pile. I think Joshua is a little, yeah, he's a little tired. So maybe we'll get him a little power nap right here. Homegirl's eating some food. She needs to, she needs to be the one to eat. But um, with the simple living on, girl, it is hard. Oh, we do have some mushrooms. I think we can make some meat substitute. And if I go here and I go to cook, we can't make any of this stuff because we don't have anything. But I did see something on here that required meat substitute and we can make meat substitute with mushroom. So that's the first goal for right now. Do anybody have anything in their inventory that we can sell? Oh, yes, you do. We're gonna sell that. That's $50. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, we're gonna sell this. That's $20. All right, so we got a little bit of money. That's nice. $73 is good in my book. Okay, so Joshua, what do you need to, oh, he needs some fun. Okay, maybe you can go ride on his bike. That's probably not the best thing to do, but um, maybe you wanna like come down. Oh, he can play in the rain. That's good, go play in the rain. Oh, some free water out here. Y'all need to take a shower. Wait, I gotta remember, it can't be industrial water. <laughs> Cause if it's industrial water, they stuff won't go up. Okay, Kamaya's over here harvesting stuff, getting all the stuff we need. Now he really over here playing in the rain, so cute. He's like, yes, I love being outside. Oh, I wanna encourage some plant growth over here. Oh, I don't think we can yet. Okay, we harvested everything we can. Is there anything over here that needs to be harvested? No, okay, we're good. So I'm gonna have her just read her book and she's a little tired as well. Oh, they need some entertainment in their house. Oh, look at them. They're going to read together. That's so cute. I'm definitely going to make sure even either in the greenhouse or in the house that there's like a little reading nook area that she can read all her books. That'll be so cute. Girl, where you going? Hello? Where you going? No, don't put away. Go sit down and read. Okay, yes. Let's have her go sit down. Let's read this book because we need to get to level four. You, you got this. Come on, Kamai. You got this. <laughs> Just get to level four. He likes fitness. No, Joshua does not like fitness. Oh, we're doing good. Oh, hold on. Somebody calling us. Uh, Joshua, thank you for suggesting I hang out with Summer Holiday. We had a spectacular time. Isn't he married? Why are you hanging out with random people, please? Okay. Did we tell him to do that? Oh, look at him. He got happy. He's like, yes. My friends is hooking up. Even if you messing up a happy home. I don't think he knew that though. Okay, Kamaya, let's have you sit down and read your book, girl. Thank you, thank you. Let's clean this up, Joshua. We don't have it. We got, oh wait, we got $73. Oh, she got the mushrooms. Okay, let's have her. Actually, I'm gonna give him the mushroom. And maybe Joshua can make some of the canning stuff so we can make the meat substitute, yes. I'm just gonna maybe do like two of those. Perfect. He's gonna do that. She's still reading. Come on, girl. We gotta get to level four today. We got this. Just gonna speed this up because this is what we need. Keep reading. Yep. Mm -hmm. Learn everything you need to. Oh, she's tired. It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Just. Period. We can make our shea butter. We can finally make our shea butter. Okay. Let's have her go ahead and take her a couple of power naps. Um, Wait, before you take your power nap, my bad girl. Let's have you. Ew, what is this? Why are they putting food in the toilet? I thought that was a, t I thought that was a poop turd. Oh my God. I definitely thought that was a poop turd. I'm not going to hold you. I was so concerned. <laughs> okay, a couple power naps. Girl, it is like drizzling outside. This is the perfect weather to go to sleep. Okay. 
Josh has some more stuff to put in the fridge. So I believe we can make some more food, which is gonna be so good for them to have leftovers. And once he cooks this, I'm, I'm gonna have him cook whatever we can with this. Oh, ooh, wait, hold on. Faux meat protein plate. Oh no, those take, that needs four. I wanna do party sauce so they can have leftovers. That needs four. What about this? Oh, a party sauce only needs one? Oh yeah, so we gonna make us some vegetarian. Wait, what is this? Oh, veggie sliders, okay. We'll make some veggie sliders, perfect. So at least they'll have some food. Oh, what happened? Oh, you burned your hand? Oh, okay, let's put this in here. Stop putting it in the toilet. Okay, we're gonna have to get a new toilet because we're not gonna be putting food in there. Okay, come on, you girl. You feeling all right? Okay, you're better. You just need to use the bathroom and she needs to eat. Okay, while you eat though, maybe we can come over here and go to make crafty ingredients and we can make shea butter and it's free. That's what we need. Okay, so he's level three cooking, which is good because y'all do know Joshua wants to open his restaurant. So this may seem like, oh, you know, they're just getting a house. But remember, this series is, this LP focuses on dreamers, okay? They, all their parents and family was shoulda, coulda, wouldas, but they're actually making a difference. And Joshua's gonna have this house forever to give to his, his children. And he's also gonna have a restaurant soon. So he's looking at the bigger picture. He's like, look, we're gonna make it through this. Kamaya is probably like, I just want a nice little, open a nice little area for the baby. They they got this, okay? It's a struggle, but they got this. They really do. Oh girl, hold on. Here, yeah, you gonna make your shea butter real quick. And then let's eat together. Josh, let's call to the meal so everybody can eat together. That'll be cute. Okay, so as soon as she finished her shea butter, they gonna eat some lunch. Maybe we could make us some soap. And we should have enough money to buy a selling table so we can at least go sell down at the beach and make some money. That's gonna be so good. Oh, Josh coming to join us, hey. By using the functional meal. Oh my gosh, she caused it to break. Oh no, okay, so Josh, Josh. <laughs> she like, babe, I broke it, please. Okay, let's have him repair this. Okay, and she's gonna get her some food. We do have some shea butter though. Look at it, it's all cute and packaged. So this is the functional meal mod and the soap crafting mod by Ice Mun Mun, if you're wondering. And it's so cute, I love the little packages. Okay, <clears throat> I think it may be good for her to get that marketable skill so everything that she crafts comes in good quality or something like that. We should definitely get that. And Sis is officially in her second trimester because she got the little waddle, she got the walk, her boobs is huge. She like, thank you for fixing this for me. Okay, so this should be a good amount. We're gonna make small packages of this. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we should be able to craft us some soap. They're so cute. Come on, handiness. Okay, ooh, we got six, that's good. So let's see what we can make. We can make melt and pour soaps because we're level one. And we can make cool mint soap bar and basil soap bar. So let's make a cool mint one. Yes, okay, hopefully she's in a good mood because I think that reflects on her crafts and stuff. Okay, girl, let's have you resume. <laughs> we required the soap maker skill. She can now make melt and pour soaps, exactly. So we're gonna work on this soap skill and everything. It's gonna be perfect. Dang, this take a long time to uh, fix. We have been twisting that screwdriver for about an hour. Okay, and then when he's done, we're gonna have him use the bathroom and maybe we can just put that in there. We got us some leftovers, which is good. And um, maybe he can go fishing or something. He needs some fun again. Oh wait, we got this upgrade part, sell that. We don't need that yet. Scavenger parts, it's raining heavy again. Oh, my girl made her soap. 
Yes, look at it. There's so many cool soaps in this in this mod pack. I'm so excited for it. Okay, the next one is the basil soap. So let's just keep making those. I wish there was a create mini though. I think that'll be really good. Okay, Josh, did you use the bathroom? Okay, you did. Let's throw this away. Jerba, marble. It's your mess. Now you're getting mad at your mess. Okay, um, just put it in inventory. Um, uh, is fishing fun? I think so. Let's go fish. Oh, is somebody down here? She fishing? No. Okay. Um, let's go down here and fish. So he can get some fishing and maybe catch some fish for some money while we create all of our soaps. Um, girl, put this in your inventory. Oh, we could create a copy. Sell handmade soap. Oh, okay. Let's sell one. How we do that? What does that do? Did it do anything? Sell the soap. I don't think that did anything. It's okay. Um, so it looks like this bar is worth 36 and this one's worth 40. Uh, let's make some more cool mint. Maybe the cool mint sells for more. Um, yes, we got peppermint, we got shea butter, so we should be good. Get these done. We're just gonna, hopefully we can queue up a little bit of them. I don't know if you can queue them up, but we're gonna try and see. <clears throat> Why she makes all of these. Oh, we only have one shea butter left. Okay, we need to make some more shea butter. We'll make some more of that. We should be good. Oh, it counted the shea butter. Oh, come on now. It counted. Okay, now we don't have any more shea butter because we queued it up. So what I'm gonna do is just drag these in her inventory and it's gonna be perfect. We're gonna buy a selling table. We're gonna go down to the beach. And we're gonna sell all our stuff and make some money so we can get stuff for the nursery. <clears throat> I do wanna say this. Um, of course, you know, I'm using really cheap CC and custom content and stuff. This isn't the style of the house that I wanted. Um, I really didn't want like, I, I want it to be like nautical and more family based, maybe like a little bit country style a little bit, nothing modern or anything like that. So it is, um, it's not the style I want, but this is what we can afford. So just know that this is the very first iteration of this house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna be many to come. So yes, just so you know. Okay, sister girl, what's going on? She wants to wash dishes. Okay, once you finish washing dishes, resume your soap. Oh goodness, not her breaking the dish, girl. We already don't have no money. Maybe we need to get some paper plates or something. Okay, so he caught a minnow and a trash pile. Well, that's not good. I think he also needs bait. So we may have to start growing him some bait, <clears throat> but I'm gonna let him keep going. He is wet and he's, I think he hurt himself while he was repairing stuff. Okay, sister girl, how we doing with us? So perfect. We got enough to make one more. It's a, it's a gloomy little day, you know, it's, it's really gloomy, but look, we got to make that cash. And everything. Oh, girl, where you going? Resume. Look at her belly. Girl, you better be having one baby. I really don't know what she's having. A little nervous. Lord, please have one baby. My game is cursed when it comes to babies and pregnancies and everything. Just don't do it. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do about a selling table. Okay, so we're looking for cheap. We can't afford a lot. But we're looking for a cheap little cell table. Okay, so I found the market table that we're gonna use and it has a couple of swatches. Um, but I think this one's really cute. I think it's kind of Kamaya or her little soap. Maybe it's like a little homemade, uh, handmade label or something. So we're gonna go with this one. And I want to get the processing table now. I think we're gonna try to do that. It is $100, so. It is going to be all of our money, but we're gonna make it back. So let's go ahead and get the processing table. 
Um, this is what, <clears throat> excuse me, this is what the shellfish processing table looks like. It's the table from the blooming plant kit. Um, we're going to be adding in a whole bunch of uh, little like accessories on it and things you would need when you're processing fish. But this is just the bare bones. Just remember, this is all for testing purposes. It even says it right here. Test the version for these films. So we're working on it. But with this table, your sim will be able to go up here, package all of their um, crustaceans and sell it for a higher price. Um, and this is just the first, you know, the first version. So um, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put it out here on their little covered patio area because I know Kamaya don't want no fishy smelling fish table <laughs> in the house. So we, they may not be able to use their stations at the same time, but it's okay for me. Um, yeah, so we're down to $20, 20 bucks, but we're good. Let's go ahead and make this money so we can finally get some stuff for our baby in the room. Let's come put this in your inventory. So we have six bars of soap that we can sell. I'm going to bring him back in the house. He's not really catching anything over there. So that kind of sucks. Oh, I say that he just caught a Tim, a Tim, Tim Baki, Tim Bakai. A girl, go off. You better sell it. All right, but let's go ahead and head over to Solani. <clears throat> We're going to go back to the same beach. It is very active. So hopefully we can make a pretty decent penny, you know, make a little, a little shmoney selling some soap. You know, there's a lot of fishermen down there. There's a lot of beach goers. They may need them some soap. You know, they dirty and they stink. So, you know, yeah. Oh, peep the, um, do we peep the, the Lotus Green? It's by Bougie Chloe, one of her fall aesthetic Lotus Greens. And I absolutely love it. Happy fall, everybody. October's tomorrow. Period. Christmas. Time to put up the tree. <laughs> so excited. But like today, y'all, it's raining. It's all like gloomy and stuff. I just want to put on a sweater, some fuzzy socks, get some soup, and hang out on my couch. Period. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and get him situated. Oh, girl. Hello. Is she? Is she drowning? Oh, she was. Girl, she was getting on this thing. I thought we was. I don't know what I thought, but who I was nervous. Let's get his little um, things over here. And maybe he can come and start gathering on all of them. All of these need to be set up with some bait. Remember, I know these aren't floating. I mean, I know these are floating on the water. They're not really submerged, but this is just the testing phases. We plan on submerging them underwater and everything. Just, just so y'all know, girl. Okay, um, at home, girl, where are you going? Okay, she's going to talk with Pekka. I don't know who that is, but first we need to sell our soaps. So what we're going to do, this seems like a pretty active spot right here. Let's go here and um, have her set up her table, which should be good. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me come on and turn around now. Go right there, turn around. Let's put this in the world. Where's she going? Okay, maybe she doesn't want to put it on a heel. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Yes, girl. Okay, and let's open. We're going to put our soaps in here. And we're going to stock the table. Oh, not you walking into it. Let's tend the table. Okay, go here. Get out of the table. Let's tend the table. Okay, and then let's mark up these prices to 300%. Let's start our street sale. Oh, period, this girl with her purse. Oh, we got less exception, that's not good. Oh, but we started the street sale, let's go. Joshua, you sleeping? Joshua, whose boat is this? Oh, we can fish. Let's fish on, the, on this, whose boat? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably a random boat, but maybe we'll do a little bit of fishing right here. That'll be nice. I mean, he might catch a person, but you know. Once he finished fishing though, I'm gonna have him come over here and do some beach combing or some trash because we find a lot of good stuff with the trash. And then maybe he can come over here and beach comb for seashells. So I'm gonna have him do all of those things. He's on somebody's boat fishing. I mean, he's living his dream. <laughs> Hopefully we get some people to come over here and, oh, hi ma'am. Would you like a sales pitch? 
You look like you could need some soap. Oh, yes, Judith. You might need some soap as well. Dang, Tina. Tina's blessed. You know Tina was blessed like that? Yes. All, I don't like all these people walking through my table. Who's this? Luna? Hello, Luna girl. You want a sales pitch? Okay, Judith, you need to go away. You're not going to be distracting my people. Go on ahead and leave. Ooh. 144 for some soap? Oh, yes, Jesus. Oh, excuse me, Miss Lady. Would you like a sales pitch? Come one, come all. Grab your soap. Funky, funky. Anybody funky? Musty, musty. Anybody musty? Come get you a Kamaya handmade soap. Oh, y'all have to leave a comment down below, like what her soap, her soap business should be called. Oh, oh, he caught a clownfish. Okay. Oh, they were 60. Oh, that would be a perfect aquarium fish. We may keep that fish. Come on. We may keep Nemo. That's so cute. I didn't even know clownfish were in the game. We'll give her a sales pitch. Hey, girl. Would you like some soap? Oh, she got used to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Would you like some soap? Oh, that lady did not like that. Where you going? No, come, come, uh, oh, she's too uncomfortable. Does this work? This bathroom doesn't work, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, you know what? It's about to work. Okay, now use the bathroom. Kamaya, please, we still got a street sale going on. Get out of here. Here, I'm gonna try to move this again. Okay, this is probably not the ideal spot for it, but you know, we should be able to use it. Kamaya, please. Kamaya, who told you to make burgers? What is going on? Why won't she use the bathroom? Oh my goodness. Of course you go and pee on yourself. I just told you to use this bathroom. Girl, I'm over it. Now you stank. How would she take a shower? Can you take a shower here, Salon? Uh, use the waterfall in the bottle. Girl, can she get in the water? I don't even know if she can get in the water. Does getting in the ocean clean you in this game? She got her table out here. People trying to buy some soap. Okay, you know what? He may have to stop fishing. Okay, we may have to come over here and tend to this table. Please come tend to the table while I deal with your pregnant wife. Oh, there's people in here. They must be buying something. Okay, use this water bottle. Okay, you can use it. Okay, let me, if I move it right here, can you use it? Okay, can you use this? Use water bottle in the, sh yes, come on. Yes, girl, clean. I know that's right. Oh, she, oh, we might have to buy these for her. That's nice. Okay, period. She, she feeling a little bit better. Okay, let's have her come out here and sit and eat the mushroom cheeseburger. Okay, he over here trying. Look, he helping his girlfriend. Like, please, come one, come all. Buy some soap. Who would buy soap from a man in boxes and fish boots and <laughs> some waiters? Please. They trying, y'all. Oh, wait, he caught a fighting placket. Placket. Oh, I want a fish tank. We might have to get us a fish tank, y'all. These are so cute. A tropical fish tank. Maya, you okay now? You eating your burger? She's tired. Oh, my goodness. Okay, is this is this still going on? Okay, no, it's not. Let's go ahead and have him collect. We didn't get to do a lot of this today, but we should make a decent amount of money. Maybe we need to get him a boat because I've never seen those fish before. I think you can catch fish in different levels of the of, of a boat, right? Something like that. Okay, 
Miss girl, no, you're not lounging on the rig. You need to come and tend this table again. Let's do that. Let's have you come over here and tend. Tend the table. And then let's start another street sale. We need to sell these soaps. Okay, let's try this again, girl. You got this. I know you're tired. Remember, all the money is for the babe. Okay, and maybe we can get, we can sneak in a second round of trapping today. I hope so. And then I'm just gonna have him do straight up beach combing. We need money. Maybe she could sell um seashells too. Seashells and soap. That's real cute. Okay, let's check how much he has. Oh, okay, 19 and 11. Nice, a nice little 40. That's 40, right? That's 30. Mm-hmm. Nice little 30. Can't count. Mm-hmm. Okay, anybody coming to look, Miss Girl, you want some soap? <clears throat> Miss Honey. Miss Honey. Didn't it sound like she said that? I know I'm not tripping. Come on, this for the baby. Girl, is this Auntie Joyce? Oh no, that's not her. You look like her. Hey, girl. Oh, he got a knife. He tried to rob us. Please leave. Oh yes, another one forty-four. Please leave, Miss Akeem, Mister Akeem. She's so embarrassed. It's okay, girl. Give her a sales pitch. Excuse me, Miss Lady. You want to buy some soap? Are you musty? Is your husband musty? Significant other musty? Children musty? Buy some of Kamaya's soap. Yeah, we need a name for her soap shop. We really do. Excuse me. Anyone of y'all need some soap? Are we musty? My husband's musty. He's a fisherman. So I know what y'all going through. Give him a sales pitch. Come on. Why is he sleep on this boat? Come out here and dig for trash. Are you musty, yeah. sir? Girl, come on, ask him if he musty. Fight the must. Oh, Miss Lady, you want some soap? It keeps sounding like she's saying, Miss Honey. Okay, come on. Buy some soap. No! You found some chips. Oh, yes. Ooh, lady, you, you, you buy some soap. Yes. yes Buy some, please. Miss Santa Claus. Ooh. Come on, think about it. Purchase some. You look like you, you're a little musty sometimes, you know. Come on. Oh, her back is hurting. She can't be doing this all day. She's trying, though. Oh, yes. Oh, the mint one went for 160 Oh, yes. That's about to be it. That's about to be it, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, he did find some more stuff. He found the heart of Solani. Ooh, that's 265, some chips. Okay, yes. Hell. Okay, so he can't buy, he can't do nothing else. Oh, it's already 2 a.m.? Oh, Lord. Okay, yeah, we've been out here for a while. It's okay, girl. Oh, she's so tired. Okay, 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 we're stopping. Girl, it's okay. Clear the table. I'm sorry. I'm about to. We about to go home. Um, and then put this in your inventory, and you all good. TV premiere was awful. We don't even have a television. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send her home because this is too much for her. Clearly, go ahead and go home. We gonna he gonna meet up with you. Look at that. Not him in here dancing and funky. Lord. He like, look, I gotta do something to pass the time. Okay, so I know I hate to keep doing it, but girl, we just got to. Let's have him come over here and do seashells. And we're gonna wait for his stuff to be done. We're gonna go home, package it up. And in, in the morning, we're making waffles. No, but in the morning, <laughs> we're gonna sell it. And then hopefully we got enough stuff to buy stuff from Nubu. Oh. Okay, no, 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 no. Beach cone. Come on, get off this boat. 
and beach count. This man in the ocean with his guitar? Is everything all right, Will? Hey, a whole teenager. That seemed like some teenager would do. Nope, don't you buy no food. We got food at home. Mm -mm. This beach comb for some seashells and all that stuff. He made friends with the crab. That's so cute. Oh, wait. Oh, they done. Okay, we're done. We're done. Mm -hmm. All done. Perfect. So we should have 60 crawdads at the end of this. It should be 30 per run. Yes, okay. And as he goes through all of this, I'm just gonna start adding these into our inventory. I know the animation's a little bit janky. Just know we're in the beginning stages. Um, so just so you know, um, with this mod, you're gonna be able to catch crawdads, crab, lobster, shrimp. Um, we're trying to do different types of crabs, um, different types of traps. So maybe you'll even be able to catch like snow crab and king crab and sell them and make a living being a whole crabber. This is just the beginning stages. So like think of it at, think of it as the beginning of like your career. Um, we don't plan on making this a career just because um, we wanted to do something for rags to riches uh, where you don't always have to have a job, um, but you'll be able to do this as a hobby or you can make it as lucrative as I am and turn it into an actual career. I mean, make it, turn it into an actual living, I meant to say. So just know that we have a huge plans for this mod and it's, it's just big, oh my goodness, he's so gassy. That is not cute. Okay, let's go home. 60 crawdads. Okay, it's gonna make us a nice bit of money. Hopefully this whole time, Kamaya's been helping her, getting her needs together. I know sis is just not, <laughs> she not having it right now, but it's all for the baby. I wanna definitely look into doing more in like a living shop for Kamaya, where she can have like her own little shop front at the house. So it's. You know, she's gonna be with the kids a lot. He's gonna be away doing a lot of uh, crabbing and stuff like that. So we definitely wanna make her comfortable. Oh, she needs some loving. Okay, let's have her use the bathroom. Um, let's have her do a quick bath and get some leftovers. Um, It's okay, girl, what's wrong? Oh, her husband must be going to, I keep calling her, calling him her husband because you know, that's what I see, but they're not married yet, girl, it's okay. Okay, she gonna go get some food. He definitely needs to take a bath. I wanna do a mud room, y'all. Like, you know, like when you first come in the house and you're all dirty and stuff, I wanna have like a side entrance maybe where it's a mud room so he can come in and like, I'll put like a shower right there so he could come in and take a shower. It will be like where the laundry room is so he can throw his dirty clothes straight into the laundry. Wouldn't that be cool? I think I want to definitely do that for him. Um, so we're gonna have him use, do that, use the bathroom, grab some food with Kamaya, and maybe they could just sit and talk about their day. They don't have a TV or anything. Kamaya, you don't have nothing else to sell. So selling those, I'll only get 120. Let's um, list one of these on Plopsy maybe, just to see what it'll go for. She definitely makes way more money using the table. Cause I think one of them sold for 144. Yeah. Oh, she listed all of them on Plopsy. I mean, no, I don't think I want to do that. Unlist from Plopsy. Unlist them, girl. And she needs some social too. She's like, I just want to talk to you. Oh, you're my soulmate. How cute. They keep saying they need to do their first kiss. So maybe we'll do that as well. Even though they have their first kiss every episode. Oh my, I love you so much. I'm glad we're so amazed. We'll be together forever. How cute is that? They're so adorable. I love me a good old couple in the sim. So cute. Okay, uh, my man need to go to the bathroom. Is there a plate in the toilet or something? Sometimes when they don't go, it's because of that. Um, And then I'm a, ooh, I hate for, oh, he's not dirty no more. Okay, I was about to say, I hate for him to lay on the couch and he all funky and stinky. My girl need to go take her. Let's take a bubble bath. You know, that'll relax you a little bit. 
They ain't even give us no headphones. She could have listened to some music. Oh, wait, you know what? I think she can use one of her soaps. I think if we, oh. Oh, she needs a lie to me. Oh, wow, okay, so I don't think we could do that yet. But you can use these soaps while you're in the shower or the bath. So that would be good, I guess. Let's sell this. And I really do want to get a fish tank. Oh, wait, you know what else would be cool? If we finish the fish collection. <gasps> oh my goodness, that should be a goal. I think I mentioned that actually, but this should be a major goal. We should finish the fish collection. I really want to get a fish tank. <gasps> oh, maybe with this money he's about to get, we can get a fish tank. Um, So let's see, we have, if I was to sell this, that's 507. This is $3.99, so. Hmm. I think we're just gonna try to package them up. I think you can do up to five in a bucket, starting out with the beginning packaging or the or the crate. You get five of them in there. So that's fifty eight dollars. Yeah, fifty eight. So let's keep building our bundles. That's 13, yeah, that, that seems about right. So we're just gonna keep packaging all of our stuff. So that's five. Um, This is gonna be a little bit better. Again, this is just testing purposes to make sure everything functions correctly. Um, Where you'll just have like five, 10, 15, five, 10, 20, 50, 100, and you'll be able to package them at one time. There'll be animations with everything as well. This is just the beginning stages. So we're just gonna keep packaging everything up. You can see we have a whole bunch of buckets. And the good thing about the buckets that I think is really cute is they have like these little fish on top and stuff. It's cute. Okay, let's build some more bundles. That should be five right there. Okay, blue crawdads. Um, we should have some more. Blues, let me double check. Yes. So it's a, it's a little, it's a little uh, if, but you know, we'll figure it out. Just gonna keep building these bundles. And we're gonna do it so like only the, so only red crawdads will be packaged together. Like you won't be able to mix red and blues, but this is just the beginning stages. Ravishin said this took her like 10 hours just to figure out how to put these together. And I was like, oh my God, I felt so bad. That's so crazy. But yes, let's finish packaging all this stuff. Okay, so we ended with 25 crates of fish. And if I was to sell this, it would be $13.89. So I think before it was only gonna be around 900. So we're getting a little bit more money. So this processing table is definitely gonna bring in the extra cash that we need. So what we're gonna do is um, we're going to um, sell this later on today at the fish market down at the docks. And hopefully we can haggle a little bit and get a little bit more money, a little bit more bang for our buck. You know what I mean? So let's have them go ahead and sleep. Oh, she needs some social and stuff. You know what? Let's get a little freaky sneaky. So let's go ahead and embrace, get them all cute. And you know, they can go and um, wrestle before they go to sleep. Nothing, a good wrestling, you know? A little play fight. Okay, Joshua, you messing up what I said. Joshua, Joshua, thank you. They gonna talk and be all cute out here. They really, both of their socials low. They've been working so much just trying to get everything. Hug lovingly. How adorable. Do a passionate kiss. Okay. Um, oh, come on now. Y'all better be cute. Okay, can they can they go over here and yes, they can. They're gonna go handle their business. Enjoy themselves. You know. 
They're going to see about the sea waves, you know, the ocean waves. Period. Not the first time when she's Pregante. Go off game. So I think I'm going to try to get her, her stuff together. And then we'll go and we'll go and sell all this money. Sell all this stuff. Look at this. Okay. I do. The quality is going down for these fish. Maybe if I put them in the refrigerator, it won't go down. We can't cook nothing with fish. But I really want to put them in a, a tank. Okay, so he's going to sleep, which is good because he needs to rest. So Maya needs to come use the bathroom. Let's do that. And then she can go to sleep. Hurry up, girl. Oh, today tomorrow is Halloween. Too bad we ain't gonna be doing nothing. Okay, she's gonna go to sleep. So it looks like our composting is done. We can put that on all of our plants. I don't think we have anything to harvest yet, which is fine. No, we don't have anything over here to harvest. But what we'll do is, I wanna see about a fish tank. I know it's not a priority, but it could be something else that gives them a little bit more joy. <laughs> so let's look into it. I have quite a bit of fish tanks. We could get something cheap like this, but look, this one's only $30. But the one that I really, really love is this one. Hold on, I gotta find it. This one right here is 240 and it's so freaking cute. I'm thinking we could have like a little fish tank. Okay, I know it's probably not a priority, but I think it's cute. Um, let's see. Oh, that kind of match. Oh wait, no, we did black. Oh, but that's still cute. Let's do this. Until we get a TV, this is our TV. And we're gonna put our fish in there. Perfect. Um, so let's come over here. We're not gonna purchase fish. Can I not open it? <gasps> I can't put my own fish in there. Oh wait, did that work? Oh yes, I did. Okay, I was about to say. <gasps> Can I not put this one in? Oh no, I can't put the clownfish in. That's not nice. Put fighting plank in inventory, name it. Um, 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 uh, Clyde, uh, I panic, I panic. Okay, well, we got a little Clyde right here. Oh, 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 I forgot they're sleeping. Well, look, we got Clyde. So we only could put one fish in. I think it's like a other one of those fish tanks. Oh, dang. I think we're gonna have a huge fish tank in this house. That's fine. We're gonna have a lot of fish tanks. That's so cute. Look at Clyde, he's doing good. Period, Clyde. Okay, let's check on this. Check on them real quick. Check on them. Uh, Yes, okay. ooh, sis hunger go down so fast. All right, she got like 60 babies in there. That was crazy. Did y'all see that? Look how fast her, <laughs> her hunger was going down. Okay, she needs to eat. Look at, look at his hunger. He's fine. He just, he's always funky. He always stinking. Okay, but I love that we got little Clyde here. Got a fish tank. We're about to go make some money for the baby. Comment your baby names down below. We don't know the gender or anything like that, but Comment some baby names. I have one in mind. I think it's so beautiful. I absolutely, like, I love it, like, a little bit too much. I love that name that I got in mind. But I want to see what you guys have to come up with first. Um, So he's good. He honestly can go and take him a quick bath. She can go eat, because that's what she needs to do. And um, maybe we'll take care of the garden and stuff when we get back. But we need to go down to the dock and sell our fish, because... Girl, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pause it really, I mean not pause, I'm gonna save real quick, because I haven't saved yet. Because this is a mod, it is in the testing phases, we wanna make sure everything is straight, okay? So she's gonna eat and all this stuff, and I think I might do this in the next episode, like at the beginning of the next episode, or I may tag at the end of this one, it just depends. It depends for sure, okay. 
So what is he doing? Mopping up. Okay, you better mop then. Do we have a trash can? I actually don't think we do. I think we just have this compost bin. We might need to invest in the trash can. Um, she's done. I'm gonna have her go ahead and get the compost out. This will give us little fertilizers and stuff. Okay, ooh, a hyper growth fertilizer. There we go. Okay, let's have her add some stuff in here. The veggie slider plate. Let's put that in. And I think he has some stuff as well. My dog chips and the trash maybe. Yes. <laughs> y'all put y'all compost and stuff in. Oh, okay. This rack, some busy. Perfect. Full of milk. I can go in there too. All right, everybody is in a better mood. So let's head on down to the fishing docks and sell our stuff. And we should get a decent amount of money because we're going to haggle. We need to get the trait where you're never embarrassed or you, yeah, you like, you don't care about being embarrassed or tense. I can't remember the name of it, but we definitely need to do it. We're going to go down here at the docks and I'm going to show you the new fish market where you can sell your packaged crustaceans. So it's going to be so good. So just ran into a little bug with the mod, which is okay. Cause we did just save if we wanted to go back and um, if we wanted to go back and uh, sell from there, we can, but we're, uh, we're having an issue where when you travel, sometimes it disappears from your inventory. So we just had 25 package crates of crawdads and it was going to sell for 1380, I believe. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add the 1380 to their household funds and um, we'll work on that bug. But basically um, the fish market basically looks like this. This is what it looks like. And we've just removed the stuff from the back and you'll be able to come over here how you can do here and you will haggle to get like a uh, 10% more or 25% off or something like that. And you'll be able to sell your um, crustaceans, but we got a little bug right now, which is completely okay. I'm going to go ahead and add in 1380 to their inventory. We'll add it. So now we have 1906. So uh, it's a little bummy. We weren't able to sell it or anything like that, but this is what the stand looks exactly like this. We just removed some of these items in the background and we're going to be adding our own things to it as well. Again, bare bones, basic, completely okay. And uh, yeah, so what we'll do, um, this is also the daily catch. I forgot about this, um, but you actually can come over here and buy fish. And over here you can buy food, like seafood and stuff like that. And this is perfect because I think ideally this is where I want this restaurant to go. Um, I think it'll be really cool for him to build his seafood restaurant right here. It's like right off the water. It'll be perfect. Um, so he got his eye out on this place. Like, come on, you're like, okay, look, babe, this can be nice. You know, you can get your fresh catch right over here at the docks. Like, girl, this could be it. Get on the little boats and everything. So um, I don't know if y'all know this, but you can use this boat to travel to the lighthouse. So we could use this to travel back to our house. Isn't that crazy? So we have 1906 for the baby, the baby's room. It's not a lot of money at all, but we're gonna try to make it work. So let's go ahead and head over to Nubu Baby and see if we can get anything from there that'll um, help our nursery come together. So we're gonna go over here again. Nubu Baby is a little bit more upscale. There's there's some things that are kind of cheap there, but majority of the things are. You know, you need like a nice little little paycheck to get some of the things. Okay, this is Babies R Us, okay? The Target baby section. It's not like, it's Carter? No, Carter's is not affordable, I don't think, is it? I think Carter's is kind of expensive. Maybe Oshkosh Bagosh. Oh, Navy is definitely affordable, okay? This is, this is not Old Navy. This is, um, this is one of those local baby boutiques. There you go. <laughs> So we got 1906. Um, let's see what we can do. So I definitely want this bottle warmer. I want the bottle warmer. I feel like even though it's for toddlers, I feel like you can, you know, still typical something, something typical you would typically buy for a baby, a newborn baby. So we're gonna do that. I really do want like a plushie. I think that'll be cute. Oh my God, that scared me. 
Ooh, okay. Um, so yes, we bought the bottle warmer, which is really cute. Look at these rocking chairs. Oh my gosh, I want a rocking chair. Four fifty, six fifty, three hundred. Oh my goodness. What about this one? Oh, this is one you could just test out. Okay, girl, come over here and rock. See how you feel. Oh my goodness, this stuff is so expensive. Yeah, let's 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 come here real quick. Oh, look at her rock. She's so cute. This baby bump of hers. Oh, she's craving some rich food and she's a little squeamish right now. Oh wait, they got like little potties. Oh, we should get a diffuser. Okay, definitely purchase a diffuser. Yes, for the room. Okay, that's cute. Okay, got a diffuser. We got some high chairs and stuff like this. Ooh, what about this? The swing's only $10? Maybe it's marked down. Get the swing. Oh my goodness, get the baby swing. It's only 10 bucks. We have tablets and baby monitors, everything like that. Now when it comes to cribs, I am I want this crib so bad. It's 150 and then we have this small one, but I just love this crib and I feel like we can add so many things inside of it. So my only thing is, I don't think we can grab it because it's kind of high up. There's no, there's no clerks here to help him grab the crib down. But we're gonna remember the Lindsay, the Lindsay crib. I was going back and forth between the Lindsay one and this like little Max's match one, but I really love this crib. So we're gonna try to get that one. Let's see if we can get some type of plushie or something. It would be cute if he had enough money to um, get her a bag. Wouldn't that be so cute? If he had enough to like buy her this baby bag. Oh my gosh, these are so expensive. And we don't want the dollar bag. Jeez. Oh, this canopy, this is giving me ideas. This canopy would be really, really cute. Oh, some nice fresh flowers. That's 150, can we buy those? A little cake's big. Okay, why? It's not taking the money out. Oh my goodness, why is this not taking the money out? Okay, all together it was 275. So let's just subtract 275. I don't know what's going on. Let's add it, so we'll take 275 out and this will be the remaining money we have for the baby. I really want to get like one of these little bears. Oh, this one's $30. Hopefully we can grab it. I don't know if we'll have access to it. No, we don't, okay. But we definitely wanna get some plushies and stuff, but this is so cute. Kamaya still, oh girl, I can't see. What Kamaya? You still here sitting down? What you doing? Oh, sis using the bathroom. Girl, definitely rocking this little rocking chair. We have to get her a rocking chair. That'll be so freaking cute. Y'all come over here and joke about old times. How adorable. But y'all, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's episode. In the next one, I'm definitely gonna use the rest of the money and try to get a nursery and everything set up for the baby. And we're gonna definitely uh, do some more soaps. The soaps is making us money. The crawdads is making us money. We just gotta get to it because the baby is coming very soon. She'll be in her third trimester in the morning oh my gosh that's so crazy so this baby is coming sooner than we thought so we gotta ramp it up so we can be ready for baby to come we need to come into some more money comment down below some quick get rich quick in the sims and we'll maybe we could test them out in the next episode but thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this episode let me know what you think in the comments down below i will see you guys in the next one remember to stay beautiful stay lovely stay in the house and have a grand grand day bye guys